So yeah, I'm back. This is Transformers Review Part 2. So let's begin. Time to figure out his transformation. Yeah. You know, I, I really can't tell you how many times I got busted up because I filled something. Or dropped something. Or broke something. Kids are bad. That's why they get beat. Well, so yeah, I put them in the jet mode and monstrous lizard mode or dragon. So yeah, we're going to look at him in this jet mode. This is an awesome looking jet. Man. Awesome looking jet. So yeah, a nice looking jet. You could put the gun up here. Or you could put this right here. I put it up here. So yeah, at well he has ports on the wings and up here. And he has a port right here, but it's basically for his combined mode and stuff. And he has two holes right here. Basically. So yeah, and he's a nice looking jet. He's a nice looking Decepticon jet. The colors on him looks nice. The Decepticon symbols on the wings look nice. He's a very awesome looking jet and I'm glad to have him with the rest of the Decepticons to defeat the Autobots. So yeah, we have Hunger. He's look nice, a two-headed creature. I know the front legs are small. They couldn't have made them a little bit bigger, but it's for reasons. I'm not really disappointed about that. Some people are, but I could do it. So you could put his two cannons on his legs so he could shoot out lasers and attack the elbows and stuff. And they have holes right here on the back. And holes right here. So yeah, they are things. So yeah, and this beast load looks awesome. Just like the original form. So yeah, his basically the same articulation. His mouth can move. It can't really close all the way. But he's a monstrous looking creature. His legs can move up in front. That's it. That's all the posability. Same posability in the legs. He's a monstrous looking creature. And I'm glad to have him. Now you could fight the Dinobots. So since the Decepticons got beasts now, they're even to the Dinobots because I got like three of them now. And I got two Chaos. I will do comparisons. So yeah, I have some figures today. I have Ripper Snapper next to Hunger. I have these two. They both look great. Hunger is obviously more bigger. 
And he has a small tail. That's posability movement. A hinge right there. He has a tiny tail. Even Whippersnapper does. And these two look good together. In their monster mode. Or animal mode. A shark with arms and legs and a two headed dragon or lizard or whatever. It is. Then next we have two jets called Silverbolt and Dreadwing. And Dreadwing is a remold of the of Skydive, okay? He's a remold of Skydive. And he's still a nice looking jet. And I will also get Skydive as well. So yeah, they both look good together. So yeah, so yeah, they definitely both look good together. He's basically more of a bigger dude. And this is their comparison in robot mode. So yeah, with the snapper and Jedwing look great. So yeah. Them both next to each other in their robot room. So, yeah. So, yeah, two of them are together in their robot They look good. I'm glad that I picked up Hungor. Now, the comparisons with Silverbolt. And Red Wing. They both look great together. And I can't wait to get Skydive. Well, I could wait. Never mind. So, yeah. But now, this comparison. So, yeah. He's a jet and he's a two headed lizard or dragon. Or whatever. So, yeah. He's a heavy remo of this. Basically, the difference is he's got two two lizard heads for feet. Basically, they took the wings out. They took this feet out. They took these these leg pieces out and replaced it with this. They reconstructed him. And turn them into this. They reconstructed him and turn him into a lizard. And this is Hungo. So, yeah. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.